Good day grade 11s, welcome to your third lesson in analytical geometry. Again today we're just doing some basic revision on the midpoint formula. So the midpoint formula is given as x2 plus x1 divided by 2, y2 plus y1 over 2. So effectively we're finding the average of your x values and your average of the y values. So let's look at an example. It says find the coordinates of the midpoint between two points S35 and T6-3. So if I plot this and again grade 11s as I keep saying if you are doing this nice little rough drawing in class please use a ruler and also measure out your distances more or less okay. So S is 3, 5, so that means that X is 3, so we've got 1, 2, 3, and then we've got 5 up, so it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, more or less. So that there is S, which is 3, 5, and why am I drawing it? Just so I can get a feel for it. T is at 6 minus 3, so that's already at 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 1, 2, so that would be T and that would be at 6 minus 3. And they're asking us to find the midpoint of this line. So let me see if I can try and join that more or less to the straight line, more or less. Okay, so now please use a ruler in, the, in class. So the midpoint theorem says x2 plus x1 over 2, y2 plus y1 over 2. And again, it really doesn't matter which one we call x1 or x2, so I'm just going to call the top one x1, and therefore this would be its corresponding y1, and then this is going to be x2 and its corresponding y2. Okay, so now if we substitute this in, you're going to get the midpoint to be x2 plus x1 is going to be 6 plus 3, all divided by 2. And then y2 plus y1 is going to be 5 plus minus 3 all over 2. So 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 divided by 2 is 4 and a half. And 5 plus minus 3 works out to be 5 minus 3 which is 2 and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So if we plot this over here and we go okay fine well this is 1, 2, 3, 4 1, that does kind of look like the midpoint. So even though my drawing is very rough, you can see that this looks like a good value. So grade 11s, always make sure that the answers you're getting kind of look like they're supposed to. Okay, so please do that. Right, let's do another example. It says M32 is the midpoint between the point Q3 minus 2 and RAB. And they want to know what are A and B. So let's first of all write down our formula. We know that M, the midpoint, is given by x2 plus x1 over 2. And then it's given by y2 plus y1 over 2. Right. So we know that this 3 is equal to this. And let's just change colors. We know that this 2 is equal to that. So if we start with this, do you agree we can say that y2 plus y1 over 2 is going to equal to 2? Now if we call q point 2, then this would be x2 and this would be y2 and then this r would be x1, y1. So if we substitute in we can say minus 2 plus b all over 2 is equal to 2. If we multiply this by both sides by 2 to get rid of this 2, we've got minus 2 plus b is equal to 4. Therefore b is going to be 4 plus 2 which equals 6. So therefore the y value of our r is going to be 6. Now let's do the next one. So this time we're going to be looking at the 3 and we're going to be looking at our x values of our midpoint. So we know that x2 plus x1 over 2 has to equal to 3. So using these points we're going to go 3 plus a over 2 equals 3. 
Now some of you might already be able to see the answer, but otherwise let's just do it nice and slowly. So what we're going to do is multiply these both sides by 2, so you've got 3 plus a is equal to 6. Therefore a is 6 minus 3, which equals 3. Therefore we can say that r point is 3, 6. R's point is 3, 6. Right, grade 11s, that is the midpoint formula. How easy is that? Please go practice, make sure you can do all these things that we revised because we're going to be starting new work very soon. Have a lovely day.